Hello, how are you doing? All right. Let's try this uh, Skyward Sword out. Here come the fireworks! That's what the menu just happens again with this. That's not count. Generations. That's great, Akira. That means nothing to me. Tons of a war of unmatched scale and ferocity. The likes of which would never be seen again. One dark, fateful day, an earth cracked wide, and malevolent forces rushed forth from the fissure. It mounts a brutal assault upon the surface people, driving the land into deep despair. The music is pretty nice, yeah, it is. They burnt forests to ash, choked the land's sweet springs, and murdered without hesitation. They did all this in their lust to take the ultimate power, protected by her grace, the goddess. was without evil. handed down by gods of old. This power gave its hold to the remain the means to make any desire a reality. Such was the way of the ultimate power that the old ones placed it in the care of the goddess. Prevent this great power from falling to the hands of the evil swarming the lambs. The goddess gathered the surviving humans on an outcropping earth. Outcropping of Earth. Sent to skyward, beyond the reach of the demonic horrors, beyond even the clouds. With the human safe, the goddess joined forces with the land dwellers and fought the evil forces, sealing them away. At last, peace was restored to the surface. This is a tale that you humans have told for many ages, generation to generation. But there are other legends, long hidden away from memory, that are intertwined with this tale. Now, a new legend bound to this great story stands ready to be revealed. Legends that will be forged by your own hand. the Joy-Con at the screen and press Y. Don't miss a line during the game. Point that and press Y any time to reset it. Okay. There's Y. There's Y. Okay, so I just do it like... Am I going to be standing up? I don't think I need to stand up. I don't think I have to. Shift. I used to like doing the controls like this. Is that thing? He looks friendly. Right 
It's Garchomp. Not even close to Garchomp. Nintendo presents The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I mean, I, this isn't in the Pokemon world, Akira, so it's not a Pokemon. <laughs> Even though this thing does look a lot like Ho. -Oh. Like, it's literally the exact same colors. That's all I'm gonna say. Are gonna be related to the game? Okay, good to know, Akira. So don't ask you for any direction in this game, got it? No, I know his name wasn't Garchomp. I know you were full of shit with that. I know it was bullshit. <laughs> hey, look, it's Zelda. Hey, look, it's Link. <laughs> and Takira's best friend again. <laughs> Rise King, time has come for you to awaken. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny. It will soon find you. A bit, what do you mean, Big says? It's Garchomp. No, not, it is not Garchomp. Time has come for you to awaken. Kane. What the hell? Oh. Yeah, nice bird there. Damn, he just spits the, the melon in my face. <laughs> you just fall out of bed like that? Aggressively? Hey, sleepyhead. I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Rise and shine, Kane. Today's the wing ceremony. Promise to meet me before it starts. Remember? Better not keep me waiting. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. Alright. So what can I do here? Wait, what's that doing? Oh shit, that's right, that's to align the thing. I don't want to do that. It's gonna look so good. It does look good. Okay. This looks like Yellow Link. <laughs> Let's try some help. Well, you seem rather relaxed about the whole thing. <laughs> it does! <laughs> that Crimson Loft Wing of yours is something special. I feel pretty confident writing him too. For one of the last ceremony. But even I don't think I could beat that Red Terror of yours. Hell yeah, look at that. The Red Bird's the best one. That for two speed in a race always comes down to the skill of the rider. I'm something like a bird researcher around here. So, you know, if you ever find yourself in need of bird expertise, come see old Pippet. Pippet. A great name. You'll remember it? You'll remember Pippet? Alright. Let's see. What else we got here? 
don't even need to talk to other people, right? Can I not roll this game? I guess find out later. Okay, I need to stop pressing that button. Hey, I can wait. Throw. I'm the green link. What the hell are you talking about? Kira. Hey! Kane, take off your fucking glasses! <laughs> oh, there's a thing. Okay. You don't even I'm not green now, that's why. Yo, Peril, how you doing? Wait, I wanna talk to this guy. But I didn't make the cut. I'm back here at the academy. These girls over to the kitchen. I was hoping to at least be able to cheer you on, Kane, but. It's just the way it goes. What is this nonsense peril? It's your favorite. It's another Zelda game. I know how much you love Zelda games. Hey, we're going to the bathroom. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna take a nice shift before we go to where we're gonna need to go. The fuck? Oh shit, it actually flushed. <laughs> Damn, this thing, this thing got automatic flushing? That, okay, I'm impressed. Clean hands are happy hands. Let's clean in here. Hi, Allison. How are you? Name is Zelda game makes it in the toilet. This Skyward Sword, Akira. Allison, we just took a poop. <laughs> I thought you would uh, appreciate that. You missed this game? I'm excited to try it. I'm ready to try the motion controls. You actually feel nostalgic? That's good. Hey, Carora, how are you doing? You weren't expecting that? Skylop. Yeah, Skylop. I mean, you were nostalgic for, um... Wind Waker 2, right? Well, what, Akira? Yeah, let's save. How you doing, Kaiora? Oh, I can do it like this. Here, well, let me try getting used to this thing. Well, yeah, of course it is a cure. This guy hurts. Oh, no, Allison. It hurts. Okay, up here. Allison, is your head feeling better, by the way? No. What's you, Kane? Today's finally the day of the long awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? I just remember, this is something I'd like to ask you about. For the most part, okay, that's good. Target me, and we can have a quick chat. Uh. Oh, I was doing it the first time. Need some art. Oh, nice. What kind of artwork are you doing? You love this game. Is this one? Is this like your favorite Zelda? Just stream a Genshin game. I, I don't want to go into Genshin Akira. Excellent. Always remember you can target someone to talk to them easily. Is it? I mean, Kara, Kara, did you read? Did you make your profile picture? I haven't seen like the rest of your art. I need to take a look. Hey, if there's anything, target the community would face you for. Oh, it's, just a little, it's just a little silly to carry on a conversation with this. Why don't you just come up to me? You did? All right, your your art is really good, Kara. <laughs> I need to see. I need to see the rest of it. Dash up to the top of that wooden box. Sure. You can make that jump fairly easily. Climb up. Try climbing up here. <laughs> nope. <laughs> there we go. Link! There you go. Yep. <laughs> Don't start already. You don't even have a sword yet. I know, Peril, the opera is great. You can rate this one, you think? Number five or six. Oh, really? What's your what's your favorite? <laughs> Out of all of them. No. Oh, what's like your top three? What are you up to? Rushing to get some last minute bird riding practice in this morning? Oh, you have someone to meet? Ah, oh, Zelda's waiting for you, is she? Perfect timing then. Yeah, the opera scene was so good. 
is ever going to be a huge part of this game. I mean, it is a part of it. See, Zelda's father, Headmaster Gaipora, has a pet named Mia, and well, she scampered off again. Look, over there, do you see her? Headmaster is so busy with Zelda preparing for the ceremony. Breath of the Wild, Ocarina of Time, and a link. Oh, nice! I might do a link to the past after this one, actually. Um, because I'm gonna start doing the 2D Zeldas. So I might start with that. But, um, Breath of the Wild is good. The Ocarina of Time is probably my number two, also, right now. I thought that maybe I should be here. The ceremony's about to start, and I just put a fresh set of clothes. And, well, you see. Can you go out and retrieve Mia for me? Oh, there we go. Wait, what do you mean, Ooh. Rip Wind Waker here? I finished it. Fantastic. So you'll do it? I know you're in a hurry, so I really appreciate you taking your time to help. You bring the popcorn for Link to the Past? Nice. It's a game you know like the back of your hand? Okay, awesome. Because I know you can get lost in that game pretty easily. So I may need help at some point. You hear my rating for it? Honestly, Akira, after that bullshit with the Triforce, I think Woodworker's like my second lowest one. <laughs> as much as I like the other stuff in it. To be able to climb up somewhere up. over there, if you hang off that ledge there, you can climb up to the roof to the other side. <laughs> you're leaving. Okay. Okay, Akira. But I know you're quite the climber. I really do appreciate it. He's at the backseat. I appreciate that, Akira. Yeah, I mean, like, I'll ask if I need if I need help with something. I'll literally just be like, "Can someone tell me where to go if I need to?" Uh, okay, so how do I how do I get up there? Yeah. Oh yeah, I have a very hostile. Just so you know, right now, I have a very hostile relationship with Link in every single Zelda game. That's why I just said, Akira. I have one with every single. Wait, with every single one. Wait, what the hell are you talking about? Every single one. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, I see what to do now. I think. There we go. Oh, okay. Okay. It's something. Oh my god. Oh my god, Peril. Thank you for the sub. It's been two years. Holy shit. That's crazy. Thank you for this up, Harold. Thank you for being over two years. Damn. It's up here as a dragoon for two years. Hell yeah. I really appreciate that, Pearl. Oh, look at the cute little guy. Wow, Link just literally just dropped him. <laughs> nice work, you brought her back safe and sound. Or dropped her. Sorry for troubling you with this. I know you're busy, Kane. I suppose I should feed Mia now. Please tell Headmaster that we found his pet. He should be up by the statue of the goddess. Whoever this dude is is not a dragoon. Yeah, no. Link does not make a very good dragoon. Except in Breath of the Wild. Please tell Headmaster that we found his pet. It should be up in the statue of the goddess. <laughs> Poor Link. Please, Zelda is, is there with him. She needs to hurry along. Also, it's not my fault um, Link never picks up, like, a master spear. Oh, yes, I should give you a reward. It's not much, but please take this. Alright, don't tell the others. Yay, everybody. This punishes, punishes your stamina gauge. In fact, you so got chunky and you found out you have to make your. Are you serious, bro? That's hilarious. Look at this game warms your heart, really. You like you like how uh, like Link's um, personality in this game. Carol, the the Link in 
Wind Waker just cracked me up the entire game. <laughs> I couldn't take that like seriously. by the servant of the goddess. Yeah, Zelda. Night, Earth, and Sky. God damn it, apparently he was. Hey, good morning, Kane. I like the Zelda singing, too. Let's see my lop wing got you out of bed. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> look at this instrument. And look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Yo, this is Zelda so much. I, I, really, I like this Zelda already. Akira, you know how to drink water. You see, not learn how to not drink toilet water. That's, that's the issue. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess ha used to have in the legends. Also, this is Zelda sassy too, though. It sounds gorgeous too. I asked father about it. He says it's called a heart. <laughs> and look at these clothes. I made this wrap myself, and we we get to use it in today's ceremony. And the harp in this outfit. I'm going to make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this game. Aww. Oh, how do I look? Uh, <laughs> no, why would I say that? <laughs> Same. No, it looks great. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. It's nice to know you agree. Thanks, Kane. It's kind of Zelda. Is oh, really, Kyra? I think that's Allison's favorite version too, right? Like, like personality-wise. So far, I think my favorite Zelda is the Breath of the Wild one. Ooh. Oh, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, Ocarina Zelda. Okay. The Skyward Sword is close. Oh, hello, father. Ah, oh, Kane. You're here, too. Outstanding. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony has you too excited to close your eyes for once. Yeah, that's what it is. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda. So give it your best out there. Yes, about that. Father, I don't know if he could do it. The fuck? Recently, Kane hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. Damn, Link looks so sad right now. <laughs> Even when he's out riding his loft wing, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's gonna have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. Yeah, the music's really good so far. Oh, I like that that animated emote you got. What is that of? Mm -hmm. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Although you may have a point. Today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider, as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easy. Hmm. And, as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. You've known him since you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about him. Rover, no! How you doing, Rover? I'm surprised you open with that and not with opening Pokemon card packs. There you there there they are. <laughs> Damn it. Do you, you wanna make out? <laughs> Rover. Okay, Rover, after this after this uh cutscene, we'll open the packs. I'm doing good. I'm ready to uh, start a new game here. Oh, share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We only made whole by our loft wings. 
They are guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our loft wing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as, as I'm sure you recall. Ah, but first... But that first meeting between Cain and his loft wing was extraordinary. The bird came to him and was a crimson loft wing. It's a breed, it's a breed so rare. We were served uh, for some time and had vanished from that line. Yes, and the boy and his bird seem to share a profound connection from the moment they met. <laughs> Do you recall when Cain and that loft wing first of his first met? What a sight. The little boy just hopped up on that bird and gracefully flew away. Without even a moment of instruction, they were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. Thanks for remembering that day. Oh no. Uh, who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by Cain and his bird. Anyone who is part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. <laughs> it's kind of designed to laugh at, Father. The ceremony is part of the final test for those trained to become the Knights of the Skylaw. Burb! Yeah, Peril, there's a burb in this game. You're gonna hate it. <laughs> Even more than you normally hate Zelda. <laughs> Kane doesn't fly fast during the race. Okay. <laughs> Dragons have pet. Well, Link's not a dragoon. What if Kane messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? You remember Allison oh, flying her? Oh. Calm down, my dear. It will be fine. Burb. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about Kane. You want one of the birds? It'll be really cool. I want Lynx. I want the red one. Hey! You just don't want an old one. Listen, Kane. You better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you better squeeze a little practice time before the race. Girl, I know you don't want a bird Pokemon either. <gasps> Come on, you'll thank me later. <laughs> Here we go. Now go on. Now, now go on now. Jump off the edge and call your loft wing. It's almost time for the ceremony. Let's try to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Here come the oh, fireworks! Yeah? You can't sense your bird out there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Peril. Ask Peril. Oh, my sperm. Ask Peril how he feels about Morgana from Persona 5. Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel out of having to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. Oh, no. <laughs> Off you go. Oh god! Hey! <laughs> okay, Kane, go ahead. Just press down and call your loft wing. That's oh yeah, that is down. Mm hmm. Hmm. His bird sure is taking a long time to get here. <laughs> Read it all, whistle. Something's wrong. That uh, he'd be he'd be dead a long time ago. I know, right, Alistair? She's like trying to murder me. Five minutes into the game, she's trying to kill me. Who needs Ganondorf when he got a Zelda like this? Hey there, Kane, I got you. You didn't even force yourself. Wait, what do you mean, Akira? Peril, no. Are you two alright? I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't spring your wing, did you? You tried to escape. I mean, I think Link didn't realize that Zelda was gonna almost murder him. Poor bird. I know, I like the loft wings. This is very odd, Kane. What could have possibly happened to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore the call of his master, it's unheard of. You still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, yeah, Kane? This is quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. Kane, you said you couldn't sense your love boy. Well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. I need to tend to my own love boy. So I'll catch up with you later. 
You better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird has gone. Why, how did it get to be so late? If I recall correctly, this year instruction Hor instructor Horrell is presiding over the ceremony. You see Zelda, the first thing he sees Zelda saving Link. Okay, you should go explain the situation to him, see if he's willing to delay the race a little, so you can find your bird. <laughs> but Father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Kane asks Instructor Horo, he'll probably just come talk to you about it. Oh, oh. Ah, quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point, my dear. Very well. I'll explain the situation to him myself. Kane, run along and tell Instructor Horel to come see me in my quarters. Alright. Because I know exactly where he's at right now. Alright, well first, we're, now we gotta open some Pokemon cards. Thanks to Rovert. We'll grab those. It's a lot, Rover. <laughs> Bro. Uh, okay, switch over. Pokemon. Uh, obsessed person. <laughs> Damn, Cap. Nah, Rover deserves credit. He he just beat the entire game with the team of Psyducks. He deserves some credit for that. Alright. Anyway. Now where the hell am I going? I gotta talk to Professor What's-His-Name. Would a pizza make you feel better? Cap, a pizza would make me feel better. Pokemon okay, could make you feel better. Rover, just open one of the 10,000 Pokemon cards you have. <laughs> Damn it, he's, he's nuts. Alright, let's see, where's this professor at? Oh no. No, no, we don't want to go take a shit again. We did that. Oh wait, this is a different bathroom. Alright, let's take a, we can take a bath instead. <laughs> hey, only flans, how you doing? Pokey cards and Link Skyward Sword, hell yeah. For kids, all the word Danny Pippet. David, you mean Yellow Link? I, I met him. He was the first person I met in this game. That was the drinking water, and I just stepped all over it. He's actually nice to me. He is. He's a, he actually is nice to me. You know how? Okay, Rover. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Let me feel better. Okay, so he's not here, apparently. So where the fuck? Okay, maybe I should go talk to the guy. And Don't forget to bring it down. See where he's supposed to be at. Maybe you'll have any idea. Of course, he's not where he's supposed to be. I'm doing good, Flint. How about you? I've just slightly lost five minutes into the game, that's all. Doing okay? Alright, let's see. Hmm. Go find and ask him. Oh, I want to ask those students about your bird. A few of them were gathered near the plaza. Down at the south of Skyloft, the place with the X mark is the plaza. We'll be holding the wing ceremony there today. It's going to hit you like a truck. Oh no. <laughs> you like the pain? Well, I guess if you like the pain, then it's okay. Hmm. Have you read a map before? You can press 
minus at any time to see the map of the area. Remember, press minus. Yes, okay, okay, game, I'll press it. Shit. So what's this, zoom in? Oh, okay. You become an Elden Ring player, really? How you liking it? I want to play Elden Ring kind of soon, actually. Gain equals gain. I mean, yeah. You don't you don't play a Souls game without having that philosophy. It's very fun. Nice. Nothing wrong. Just a big hurry. What? Your loft wing is missing. But I just saw him. Bruce's bird was chasing off after your your pet. Bruce's bird was chasing off after your pet. Whatever. I can't I can't read that. Apparently. You get on PC. Okay, nice plans. I think I'll, I'll probably get on PC. I'm not sure yet though. Oh, Bruce and his little cronies were saying they were headed down to the wings. Wings are money in the plaza. My guess is they might be in the plaza. Probably the fastest way there is to stop this path. This gate still needs some work before it'll open. Can you go around the through the academy? Remember to check the map if you're lost. Well, shit. Wait, can I just do this instead? It's your first pro- Oh, really? It's your first Souls game? It's gonna be like my... Fourth or fifth. Wait, why would you say go through the academy? It just went- I just went a much shorter way. Stupid gate guy. Oh god, I almost just walked off the edge. Oh, he dropped them fast, really. Dark Souls 3 was my first one. It's a beautiful day. We're too busy to enjoy it. Some things never change. Ooh! That could be Eldering. Then hit Bloodborne and Dark Souls 1 and 3. Nice. Isn't that the truth? The only thing my lug nut of a son is good for is getting grease on his shirt. All I do is laundry, laundry, laundry. It never ends. You like the loop now? You like the pain and suffering? I hear you. I'm terrible at washing clothes. I wish I could get someone to do it for me. This island's kind of small, right? It's a little small. Akira thought it was a huge island. So, uh... Imagine living through your whole life. Yeah, true. So, uh, do you ladies like to move? So, oh, you know what? This isn't where I need to be anyway. Never mind. Carry on. Oh wow! I think that was the fastest I've ever seen Akira do anything. <laughs> Modding. Thank you, Akira. Here's <laughs> the size of a small tomato. <laughs> Thank you, Akira. Good, good work. Good banning. You know, Bruce, that sure was a pain. All that scratching and pecking. <laughs> you almost bent. Oh my god, Akira. Of course it was. You thought a big crimson locker like that was just gonna go down without a fight? Yo, big boss, how you doing? Well, we got him. And I don't care how, how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. I feel like you recognize the music. I don't know, Akira. <clears throat> Big Boss, I got a badass Pokemon card. Uh, just a little while ago. Whoa, King. So, uh, yeah. That's all I've been saying here. Is it the Kane card? I wish. I didn't get the Kane card yet. What's your problem anyway? No, wait. I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see with those dopey eyes of yours. Oh, shit, Big Boss. Thanks so much for the sub. I appreciate it. 25 months. Big Boss, you're one of the longest sub here. <laughs> you're definitely the longest sub here now. 
I appreciate it, big boss. Hell yeah, you are. Bow <laughs> before me, mortals. <laughs> They're pleading. Oh, Groose, can you can you please find it in your heart and let me win today, please? You just just the wins. You can get some alone time with Zelda. Up at the God's statue of God's at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> what you doing out here with all this ass? Well, Double sorry, pal. Groose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice: work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Ooh. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? Here, look, big boss. <laughs> I got a shit. I got a butterfree. I got a Gigantamax butterfree V Max card. Back at back at school, here you go. Okay, Flynn. Oh, school goes well. All right. I can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? We got a butterfly. There's thousands of those in Central Park, but this is a gigantic butterfly. All right. No, bring it on. Bring it on, bitch. <laughs> sure. Only thing is. I don't know how you're gonna do that with no bird. You gotta grow wings? Is it bigger than your- No, not that big, big boss, but you know, it, it is a big butterfly. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were- you been friends since you were kids? Big deal. It changed the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. <laughs> Big boss. Did you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. <laughs> and just who might you be talking about, Groose? Oh. Oh, Zelda. Hey. Nah, it's uh. Oh shit. Okay, here's the sassy Zelda. I see it now. <laughs> Don't even try it, Bruce. You're picking on Kane again, aren't you? He's a student at the academy, like all of us. No. Why do you just I'm bullying him around so much? Yeah. I suppose. Suppose, suppose what? <laughs> His face. I suppose. Uh, forget it. I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Kane. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. Be a major setback towards knighthood. Let's so find that bird or get real used to taste to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. Ah, <laughs> uh, Groose is a dick. I hate to say it, but I'm getting to suspect those blockheads had something to do with your lawless disappearance. Okay, those guys aren't going to help us find your bird. We better start searching. I'll fly around Skylock to see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he talked to Instructor Horrell about the late start of the police ceremony, so don't worry. We'll find your bird in time. Right, I see I see where you guys like the Zelda. Alright. Link, just ladder. Link! Okay, there we go. Alright, well, this was 
definitely not the way to go. Oh god! Link, you're supposed to grab the ladder, you idiot! The fuck? I was gonna say, my name was good, big boss. Um, I just did a lot of, like, sprite coloring today, mostly. How was yours? Alright, so obviously, uh, so I don't know where the fuck I'm going now. So we're just gonna go everywhere. Alright, it does work. Oh, your dad bought a new car? Nice. What'd your dad get? And how was the gym? I'm gonna assume my bird's not here. Bought a Hyundai 2022 Tuscan. Nice. Oh, yeah, today was leg day? Meanwhile, how, how often are you going to the gym now? Four to five times a week. Oh, nice. What a burp can fit in that house. I mean, maybe he could, but like, why would he be there? Why would they hide up there? Oh god. Okay, so so far I don't trust this Link's ability to walk. <laughs> this thing. Who knows how long the statue's been here? That's one eye. Poor thing. I already know this, but you can press up to look around. I did not know that. Oh my god. Oh god. I need to reset this thing. There we go. There we go. Much better. Alright, where's my damn bird? Okay, I think that was like a little preview to me uh, dousing. Okay, so obviously I can't go there. Oh my god, there he is! Bird, come back! Come over here. Looks like monster. No kids allowed. Alright. I'm gonna need me a sword. Can't wait to see what fight is gonna be like with most controls. Oh good, a heart. For dinner. I had a uh, burger today, big boss. What about you? A oh, burger and fries. Want to climb? I what? Oh, I was supposed to throw up on the dash. Okay, that was my bad. Rice, chicken, and beef. Ooh, nice. What kind of burger was it? Oh, um, my mom actually made it. It was like a homemade burger. Kane, look, it's Pippet. Over here. Has there information about your loft wing? Come over here. I already know where my loft wing is. Wait, where the hell are you? Where's over here? Pippet, where are you at? Oh. Okay, whatever. <laughs> David Pippet. Hey, Kane. I was just looking for you. What's up, Cap? I your loft wing's gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. And get this. My ass floods when he knew. Started acting weird. Aww. So sorry, Kane. You're hoping I knew? No, I don't know, Cap. I was, I was hoping you'd know. I really wanted to tell you, 
But if Cruz found out, I told you. <sighs> Sounds like Cruz forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on. Tell him the truth. <sighs> it's a while ago. I was cleaning the dining hall. Bruce and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your law point. I wanted to warn you, Kane, but just as I tried to sneak away, Bruce and his gang grabbed me. And if I told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. Sounds like Bruce and his buddies had a plan to capture your, your bird and hide him near a waterfall. I found him already! This cut. This, the whole dialogue is useless. Near waterfall would mean. Quick, let's take a look at your map. That's it! Right there. I think it means the waterfall marked here with the X. Yes. <sighs> Give me, Kane. I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. Alright, yellow link. Help me with the sword. Hmm? There's some dangerous things out there. Creepy, crawly things. You don't need to carry a sword. I think I saw the Knight Commander go into the spar sparring hall a little while ago. Let's go ask him if he can borrow one. Thank you, Yellow Link. Ooh. Hey, it's Kane. So you still want to get some, get some sword practice, even though today's the wind ceremony? I'm impressed. Sword's in the back room. Go on there and get it. I'll be here for a while. So if there's anything you don't understand about handling a sword, go ahead and ask. Hey, my first treasure chest. You got a practice sword. Let's say it was a fairly sharp blade. Nice. Okay, when I saw a practice sword, I was worried I was gonna get like a wooden sword or some shit. Okay, now, how do I fight? Alright, this I can't even get the sword out. This is a bad start. Oh yeah, you wanna learn about how to use the sword? Yes. Ooh. Okay, so the basics of the swordmanship. It's important to think about the direction you're swinging your sword. If you swing up vertically, you'll do a vertical slash. If you swing it sideways, you'll do a side slash. Thrust it forward to do a thrust. Wait, what's the Saints Row sword, Flitz? X is a more advanced technique. The spin attack. Forward move for when you're surrounded by energies. If you remember these moves, you can handle yourself in any fight. How do you do the spinning attack? Just remember the fundamentals. Always press Z out to target an enemy as soon as you see it. Ooh. Try getting some good practice on those logs. More phallic and sil oh, and silicone. You gotta swing your sword. You can always check what. Okay. You select those logs. I'll set it up so you can try out your big move. Oh, okay. Alright. Hey, look, we did it. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, what a cure? No. Bad link. Bad link. There you go. I'm doing the thrust. Fuck it. God damn it, Link. There, that's why. There we go. That's right, Kate. <laughs> You really are a strong swordsman. Easy to teach, too. You make this instructor proud. Are you ready to try a spin attack? Okay. Great. Now I'm going to surround you with logs. Use a spin attack to cut them all down without moving from that spot. You still haven't told me how to do a spin attack, though. Oh, okay. Swing these together. Oh, okay. Cool. Good one. That's sure 
looked like it felt good. Why don't you try a fatal blow to close our session? Sure. The battle controls are a lot better here. What, you mean like with motion controls, David? Anyways, I'll target it with... You have to throw yourself at it with a fatal blow. Do a side slash on that log. When it's down, try to finish it off with the city. Oh, compared to the weak version. Uh, we're going okay, big boss. It's been really slow lately, actually. <laughs> but it's been okay otherwise. Dick! Okay. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna like try to get another one soon. I am actually trying to get another one soon. Guess the way. Fatal blow is an effective move to use right after you use your shield. Or a well placed spin attack. It's not gonna bounce back. Yo Mock, thank you for the raid. How you doing? Hey Ninja Cyclone, how you doing? Mock, how was your stream? Ready to get the speed of sound. I like that. Oh, monsters don't stay down for long. You have to land that fatal blow before they get up. Thank you for the shout out, big boss. How was your stream? Oh, how was Twilight Princess? Yeah, Akira missed it. Except I'm having them. Oh, Big Boss, you missed it earlier though. Akira, uh, like banned a bot, like half a second after it said something. I was actually impressed with that. Oh god. How do I beat this log? You log. Finish the third. Oh, got the Master Sword made a lot part. Nice. That's not your first time playing it, is it? Hey, King. You can't take swords outside of the sparring hall. What do you think you're doing sneaking out with that? But, but I need it. What? Your Lothwig is missing? You played Twilight Prince multiple times. Okay, cool. That's actually my favorite Zelda right now. It's Tw uh, Twilight Princess. Wanna go look for it? Well, I guess I can make an exception just this once. Remember that Skull is a peaceful place. Only knights carry swords. I don't want to see you swinging around like crazy out there. I don't want to get a ton of, in a ton of trouble over this. So here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on those logs first. Once you're outside with that sword, only use it when absolutely have to. Got it? Eh, I got enough practice. <laughs> Alright, now we're going back to the waterfall. Thanks for the help, Yellow Link. Well, how are you doing, Mon? Skyward Sword's going well. I just got the sword. I just tried fighting with uh, with motion controls. We're doing this whole game with motion controls. It looks like it's working so far. God damn it. Wait, where am I? Okay. Oh, you're very tired for a busy weekend. Hopefully it was like a good busy, though. What the fuck? What is this kid doing? Why'd you just roll to the tree? Do a dash and roll to the tree. Do a dash and when you're in front of your bam. Do a roll to it. Wait, how do you roll? Oh, while dashing? Oh, okay. You did like 10 hours of driving. Oh god. That's a lot of driving. Did it. Guy stag beetle. Okay, I'm glad I talked to that kid. Otherwise, I probably would have never known how to roll in this game. <laughs> Thursday morning, five would say, "Oh God, where were you driving to?" Oh, a convention. Nice. How was the convention? Carolina. And back to South Carolina. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Okay, so those green plants are like one of my best friends. Oh, California. Okay. 
That's right. You're right. <laughs> Big boss, no. Oh yeah, I remember Allison loving doing this. <laughs> With those, uh, like, tree walls. <laughs> Get the sword out, like... Okay, um, I don't know what you're talking about, big boss. I totally didn't like not do it. <laughs> KDM. That sounds like a that sounds like a message to me. I'm so sorry, big boss. Alright, so far the the most fighting with the most control is bad so far. No, so far it's not that bad, Akira. I just kinda get used to it. Of course I'm really sorry. What are you talking about? Come on. So it's over the voice. The game, yeah, the game's like run looks really smooth. I like that. Hey, I got a monster claw. You said he buys up the switch. Hey, so far it's good on the switch. Did you play the original version of it? Oh shit. There you go. Yeah, did you like the Zelda? Okay, I don't care about one of your Wii is questionable in operations. Oh no. <laughs> Yay, rupees. Come on. <laughs> now your fair is all the series. We you enjoyed it for the story, nice. Yeah, the story seemed really good. Um from when I was watching Allison play it. Seems like it's a pretty cool story. Huh. The eject button on the console that's really Oh no. So you can't like switch discs ever? You'd just be stuck playing one game forever. Kane! I don't think you can. Oh god. Well, I hope the game that's in there you really like. Hey, Kane. I was hoping I'd find you here. I think you've gone searching for your bird around the waterfall. I thought I'd help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your loft wing? Hmm. Oh no. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Groose is and his gang. Grusin's gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Huh? Who's that? Who's calling for me? Oh, sorry, Kane. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Oh, is that like, it's gonna follow me? 
Yeah, unfortunately, Mock. Well, maybe somewhere you can get it fixed. <laughs> and it didn't work out too. Oh no! Look, there he is. No doubt about it. That's your Lockwing King. Oh, I guess I gotta break the. Pretty sure a lot of the weekends import the switch. That's true. Yeah, a lot of them are. Look, it's my ho. -ho. Don't want to call this guy. <laughs> Any switch works fine. I would hope so. See if it can work again, yeah. Yeah, I'd really I would really hope the switch would work. Here's the stupid eject button, damn. Shit hurricane. Now the lock wing is free. So fly to the ceremony. Oh, let's see how flying works in most control. Before you go, I have to ask you something. I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling. Almost like someone is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say it's an empty, barren place. Even that there's nothing at all down there. But I just have this feeling that they're wrong. You're alive, let's go, sorry. Perfect. One Zelda game to another. Yeah, perfect. But thank you again for the raid, Mach. Tell my father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skylaw. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it. Our lock wings won't fly through the cloud barrier. I can't help imagining the wild things that might be weighing below. Someday, I want to see it for myself. No, they're really too often. Oh, yeah, there's no worry about that, Mock. <laughs> I appreciate you taking the opportunity. Oh, sorry, Kane. You don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Just leap off the yeah, edge and press down. Don't worry about falling. Your bird will catch you for sure this time. Zelda, if I die this time, I swear to God. <laughs> You're telling Zelda, yes, I am. Okay, now how in the fuck do I steer this thing? Okay. Can you turn your bird to the basics just to make sure he's not hurt? You can fly your bird in any direction. When head upward, it will slowly lose speed. Wait, why are you tilting to the left? Stop. You want to speed up, direct your bird upward to gain altitude and drop. To a fast dive. So again, gain some altitude and dive to speed up. It's basically getting your bird to speed up. Okay. Okay, there we go. How's he handling? Think he's flying alright? Okay. Wait, wait, no, Bert, stop. What are you doing? <laughs> He's like falling to his death. Hey, <laughs> Barrel. Oh no. Alright, I need you to fly up and, like, not fall to your death. Okay, lock me. Press. Left it. Anytime it goes up. Okay. You can also charge, which is a type that gives you a burst of speed, as well as slow down when you need to. Try all these moves and see how they do. Where's the burst of speed? Oh, okay. 
Okay, I need to like fly up. Why? Why does he keep doing this? Yeah, you're gonna die. Like, what are you doing? Please get me out of this nightmare. Oh, no. I think he's relief. I don't know about you, Kane, but your loft looks like he's flying great. Uh, what? No, he, he doesn't even know how to fucking fly. What are you talking about? I don't think my bird is okay. All the others are probably worried about what your bird. Let's go give him the good news. My bird does not look okay. <laughs> oh, he really is amazing. Just considering everything the poor guy has been, has been through this morning. I'm gonna fly back and tell father what happened. No! Well, well, but it isn't Kane. Run right around the plaza as you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great. Because you and your dumb bird can't tell. Can't tell time. All the pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. I've been waiting forever for the race to start. And they delay for you? I don't get it. The big flake gets special treatment? This guy is a dick. <laughs> You're almost a man. Yet you still can't even go anywhere without Zelda. Bet you can't even decide what to have. You have lunch on your own, huh? Don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Oh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Uh. <clears throat> think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? He's just jealous he is. Gone forever. Oh, he's going to be the one to be with Zelda. Look at the guys. Uh, Papa doing in a ruffle about her. <laughs> hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're looking in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess in today's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to plant the sail clock. When I heard she made it herself, man, there was no way I was gonna let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Yes, that Saint Cloth, Zelda Saint Cloth, will be mine. <laughs> oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First, I win the big race, and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. They're gonna throw it back at you. Back to you, yeah, exactly. It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody's stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. So over here, I can, I can see it. <laughs> oh yeah. Bruce, Bruce, right behind you, right behind you. What? Can't you two see I'm in the middle of? <laughs> can you explain us what you meant by our special moment alone? I <laughs> uh, nothing, nothing big, really, just. Just... Okay, yeah, I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was found the red bird of, of his. Boy, I am... Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Anyhow, later, Zelda. Look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Groose, wait up. Did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah, chances that happen are just about less than zero. Yo, this guy falls off his burp. I think he'll die if he does. Either way, just don't let the fools... Those fools get you down, Kane. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you got these guys beat. And deep down, I think you do too. Uh... Yeah! That's the spirit, Kane. Trust me, you can win this. Hey! Ceremony's about to begin. Participating students, please assemble. Wait, can I, like, practice some more? <laughs> like, it's race time, Kane. Good luck. Oh, God. This is gonna be horrible. I am very worried right now. Hey! Your attention, please. At last we were ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Kane, but luckily that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I will attach a small statuette of this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, Dash from the starting line and dive off the ledge. Once you're in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly with, with down once you dive off the edge. Whoever catches the bird and claims the set to it will be this year's champion. Those are the rules. Simple enough. I should think. I should, simple enough, I should think. Do you need to hear them again? The guy's a golden bird. Yeah, but it's like tiny. Mm -hmm. Excellent. As you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He also received a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons. It is also the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. To celebrate the occasion. Today's champion will also receive his gift atop the high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. And as you well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by <laughs> the lovely Zelda. <laughs> Let's see your finest flying out there. So we just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with the other riders will answer to me. That goes double for you, Goose. Hey! All right, gentlemen, line up. At my command, the competition will begin. Hey! Yeah, I got 4K. Go. Alright, let's hope this goes better this time. Alright, uh... No, no, don't start doing that shit. Why do you fly like this? Oh, is this? Okay. I think I get it now. Come on. No, turn. Turn, bird, turn. Catch it. You got this. 
Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? Thank you, Bruce. Yeah, you heard him. See how you fly with an egg in your face. Oh shit. Why did you turn so sharp to the left? Down. He already broke the rules, right? Yeah, fuck you guys. Damn it. Okay, this turning is very strange. Go for Chocobo, go for it. Yeah. There we go. Come on, get it. You got the first set to it. Improve your victory today. Wait till Zelda sees this. I did it, guys. <laughs> I flew the bird. Hey. Kane. <laughs> Thank you, Kira. Oh. I'm gonna jump it down the bird. Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> Great flying, Kane. Congratulations. Now we better get on with the ceremony. Yo, Tadashi, how you doing? Why are you saying damn? <laughs> They got some honkers on them. Tasha, you like you like the noses? Okay, and hand me that bird statuette he grabbed in the race. Must offer to the goddess. Oh, Tasha, you might like the card that I got that I pulled today. The Pokemon card. I got a cool card. Forget the Master Sword League. Defeat him with the power of your nose! Exactly. It's a nice song. That's it. No, it's not a Nita Ran. It's, um, well, actually, I don't know how much you like it, but it's so cool. Great goddess, guiding light, and protective red people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I say, act in your stead during this ceremony. Yeah, I'll show you real quick. If I get this thing off me. It's not a guard chop. It is a Gigantamax VMAX Butterfree card. Is this like the most badass butterfree you can get? So I got I got one of those, Sashi. You love it? Yeah, I thought you might like it. I thought you I thought you would probably like it. Isn't it awesome though? Valiant youth who grasp victory at the celebration of the bird folk. In accordance with the old ways. And Tashi, tell me my bird doesn't look like a ho-oh. At all. I now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. That's cool as Venomoth. But very cool, but yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think I like Venomoth a little bit more too. Your burp looks like re what? That makes no sense, Akira. What the fuck? Once the goddess drift down from the heavens, aloft a sail, which I now pass on to you. 
you got the sail claw. Yay. Now jump any height without fear of painful landing. It smells nice too. Oh, okay. Forgot about that listener. I was wondering why you just called a boat. Oh, oh my god, Tadashi. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Kane, quit goofing. It's supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? Oh my god, Tadashi, that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, we're going back to Wind Waker, exactly. You know, they say that the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making this sailcloth in time to give it to today's, to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Kane. Okay? It smells nice. Like, <laughs> okay then. <laughs> okay. You can't get over the noses. <laughs> like 60% of their faces, noses. Yeah, the noses do stand out a little bit. Take good care of it, okay? Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today, like you promised, Kane. <laughs> hey, Kira, that does not mean that she has a nose fetish. I really should. Oh, shit, I missed that part. You do know what happens at the end, right? Uh. No. Just what are you thinking? Don't be silly. This is your big moment, Kane. And she's getting real close. You have to jump off the statue. Oh, fuck. Look down. See that big round design in the, court, in the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop down right in the center of it. Dip off the edge here. Right before you hit the ground, press ZR to open up your sail buff. Now that I've given you a boner, time to jump. Perfect. Just how brave are you? If you're really fearless, you wait till the last second to use your sail clock. So, ready to jump? So, like, oh man, blue ball team, for real. Okay, that's the second time in this game that Zelda's like casually tried to murder me. Oh, pfft. Well, I fucked that one up. Oh boy, I see you messed up your landing. <laughs> I sure as hell did. I mean, once you dive off the edge, you can control the angle of your flop by tilting your body. You're ready to try again, aren't you? I won't push you this time, just take a leap when you're ready. Dash off the edge, jump off into a dive. This way you hit the ground, press and hold ZR. Oh, no worries, Mock. Welcome back. Skyward's was going well. I'm, I failed to jump. I, I failed falling, but other than that... Oh, and don't forget, you got to land in the middle of the round design in the courtyard below. Okay, alright, alright. Alright, let me make sure this thing's nice and centered. Alright, let's do this. Yeah. Oh shit. No. What happened to all the treasures? Okay. I need to okay, I need to hold the button. I need to remember that part. Yotzi Jackson, how you doing? Sailcloth? Sailcloth? Oh god. <laughs> I thought it was gonna come out. There we go, I did the thing. Oh, it took three tries. There we go, boy. What's Zelda's reaction would be? Mario's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm well, doing good, T. Jackson. We're just, uh, we're getting started on this game. That was perfect. You're amazing, Kane. Yeah, first try. Yeah, let's go with first try. You know, Kane, seeing as how you won today, with the weather being so nice, first is the correct answer. Maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together. Oh. It's gonna have a nice flying day. Kane, 
Hey, Kane. Today was amazing. Watching you win the race and performing the ritual together. I always remember this. It really was wonderful. <laughs> you know, Kane. She wants mini canes. That's what I mean to talk to you about. Oh no. Oh, it's on for that. What is that? What's going on? Ah, Kane. Like here, this is a tornado. Get wrecked, romantic moment. <laughs> yeah, we can't have real romance going on in these Zelda games. What, are they insane? Okay. I am waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. That that is not a Berber hero. This this is a woman. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Okay. Oh no! It's that thing again. Oh, you're awake. I I don't think so, Akira. I don't Ooh. think that was her. When your locked wing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we could be grateful. <laughs> but Kane, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? Hey look, Link's talking, even though we can't hear him. He's pretending to talk. <laughs> A black tornado, you say? Was no ordinary storm. That tornado was totally brown. That was not black at all. <clears throat> He's talking with his hands. You don't know where that. Yeah, exactly, Kira. <laughs> you must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did they seem about her scene off. <clears throat> Why does Link have no voice? I see. She was talking about the surface then? You've been having dreams about a great mission? How interesting. I'm sorry. I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her loved one, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, Daybreak is yet to arrive. It'd be very difficult to spot one girl on her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. The talk no jutsu, what's that? Rest now, Kane. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. Oh, well, good. guess what, Akira? I never watched Naruto. <laughs> you uncultured swine. I'll accept that. 
You never finished the soda. Okay, now I don't accept it. You have no right to call me a swine if you didn't even finish it. <clears throat> hey, look, it's you. Hey, Fi, come back. Uh, I mean, I don't know your name. The flying water girl. Like, what the fuck was that? Like, you idiot. <laughs> Watch your footing out there. In the dark, you never know what might slip off the rock, off the ledge. <laughs> oh, don't let me catch you fly out flying at night. Only train nights out to myself should be doing that. You take care now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> now that that's out of the way. <laughs> Thank you for that clip, Akira. Oh god! Like, what? I don't wanna hurt you. Oh shit, I didn't realize this took up my stamina. Oh god. Like, hurry! Like, leap! Not killed the double cat. You totally missed that moment. Alright, fine, I'll kill you guys though. You made this on a layer in the game, really, Allison? Hey, that was a cool move. You didn't tell me how to do that move. Allison, did you get to see my bird flying skills? Or lack of? Guess we're going in. Look who we're about to meet, Allison. <clears throat> oh, look, it's the thing. It's the sword. Maybe this look will actually give it an appropriate stare. The one chosen by my creator. I've been waiting for you. You will play a great role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fire is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. It comes with this asshole! I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that you're burdened to carry. Is your burden to carry. Cap, do you like the Skyward Sword? Come, Kane. You must take up this sword. As the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, 
uncertainty surrounding the fate of one you hold dear. Sour Sword isn't bad. Under the circumstances, it's only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. Damn, Link looks pissed. <laughs> it was as far as they call it good by Zelda standards. So you say it's like one of the lower Zelda games for you? To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. Oh yeah, if someone has not voted in that poll and wants to like break the tie that's going on, I, I would appreciate that. Because somehow the, the, the poll tied up now. Projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. That's stiff competition. Yeah, true. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. <laughs> In this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda is another chosen one, fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, you should wish to meet with your friend. I highly recommend you take up the sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? <coughs> sure, why not? Why are, you, why are you getting in my way now? It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator. Draw the sword and raise it skyward. Wait. Oh, okay. Oh shit, I have to like actually pull it out. There we go. I did it. Hold that late. You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. That's not the master sword. Recognition complete, master. Gain. My master. King. Ooh. I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is passed down is a secret passed down to a select few, each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will awake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in the place most sacred. It started days ago, a sword that a kept secret all these years, began off to give off a faint otherworldly light. Don't forget to bring it down! Okay, big boss, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. At first, I was sure I was seeing things. You're alone with, with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade. One who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah yes, the oral tradition. One of the least reliable methods of information, retention, and transmission. <laughs> It appears that critical sections of the passes have been lost over the generations. Mm -hmm. 
The Yuthu draws forth the guiding sword, so be known as the goddess's chosen hero. And it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land, such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. <laughs> Someone found this old text talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds, the vast realm of the surface. It's only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Kane. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. I was like, we're about to do it right now. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds of the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. You got the emerald tablet. The weathered surface of this heavy stone feels very old. Master. The first thing you must do is hit the crest, sitting in this room with the skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. Um. Uh, okay. Is that the Skyward Strike? <laughs> Yo, Don, how you doing? The game's going well so far. We just got the, the Goddess's Sword. And we did a thing. I did my first Skyward Strike. barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you place in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds and to the realm below. I recognize you as my master. It is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Okay, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turned out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have a big have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Yo Don, thank you for the raid! How are you doing? Oh shit, I know Don was, was streaming. Also, thank you for the shout out. Alma, how are you doing? Sherry, how are you doing? Oh, that's why you were laughing, Allison, when you said hi to Don. I see what you're doing now. But Don, thank you for the raid. How was um how was Mario Kart? It's Don raid. 
How are you, Sherry? Hey, Grim, how are you doing? Also, welcome. Yes, welcome, Dawn Raiders. Games Matter, how are you doing? How's everyone doing? How did Mario Kart go? How's this a Dawn or Sneaky? They are. Just think. This is. <laughs> If, if what this five says is true, Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it, it is the goddess has in store for her. The face of this person. Also, thank you for the shout outs. Ooh, a Don Ray. I'm doing good. Games, how about you? Oh, you like Guy Port? That's his natural face. He's not even making a face. That's the, the problem. Don Mario average is too nice, Don. Good job, good job. The, the community were the real winners. As long as you guys had fun, right? He's starting to link, so he probably is. Did you heed the call of destiny? I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Kate. Especially down here. Just networking and support. I appreciate that, games. Nope, the networking's going well. But thank you again, Don, for the raid. I appreciate it. But if you if you decide to breathe the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here today defines explanation. It is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legend is true. No way. It's too much. We just say no, game over. Ooh. Do your people proud, Kane. Dawn is drawing near. It's been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Kane. And those clothes. They don't look up they don't look up to the task. Okay, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You better change before you go. <laughs> hey look, we got the outfit. We got the thing. One coffee all day, no monster, no G fuel. You feel weirdly calm, that's good, Don. Allison, how much caffeine did you have today? Very fancy green cloth, right? He looks super elegant. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. I know a more fitting color. Red would have been a much better color. Oh, what is that, Emo Games? Take care on your journey. Be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar. Be sure to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. Mock, really? Red's my favorite color, too. And I always love the red tunics in uh, these Zelda games, when there is one. You have good taste, Mach. I'll return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information in the ancient texts. We, we, we probably have. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it, Mach. You're always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide both you both. Modulating phase. Oh, Sherry, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. 
I love having a host uh, alert again. It's so nice. Hey. Kane. Oh, thank you, Mark. I'm glad you liked the, the notifications. That green uniform looks so adventurous. You can sort of look like a knight now. Edmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. I know, right, Don? That was so stupid of them. I don't know why they did that. You're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you were about to do. Like, what was their logic behind doing that? I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. You got the adventure pouch. So there are all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear. Yay! It's an adventure pouch. It's for... Adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need in, on your big journey. What if I need more than four things? You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar. You can put in this pouch. Modulating cool look. Awesome gamer, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. And how are you doing? That's your same question. <laughs> You can buy some potions and a shield. It'd probably fit in the pouch. It might come in handy in on, on an adventure. How is a shield gonna fit in a pouch? <laughs> Kane, I just know you'll find Zelda for us. I feel like I'm not even gonna use the shield, like ever. I guess I'll buy one just to see what it's like. Made like a magic shield or a magic pouch, Vi video game logic. Why do I keep going back to the toilet? Uh, oh. While we're here, might as well take a ship for before we go on our grand adventure. <laughs> it's not supposed to make sense. Was well, gonna have a nice, nice little poop here before we, uh, you know, go. Might be our last chance. Yeah, exactly. Take, we gotta, gotta take a nice deuce before we hit the trails. With their, I'm impressed this toilet has an automatic flush, too. <laughs> I think that's the most impressive thing about this game. Okay, anyway. So I don't open, okay, that's how I open the pouch. Okay, let me make sure this thing's all calibrated properly. It is not even close. There we go. So we toilet the whole game? Who knows? Who knows, Mod? We can't we can't take that chance though. What if what if it is and Link had to poop somewhere in the middle of our adventures? Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location. And signs indicate it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. That's your exact thought. <laughs> must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with a sword would result in a decreased probability of survival. <laughs> if you have not already done so, I advise you purchase the shield and potions at the bazaar in preparation for your journey. Yeah, I think in all the Zelda games, I've only bought a potion like once. <laughs> I like never buy potions. <laughs> But I guess I'll buy a shield to see what it, what it, how the hell to use it, and if I'm even gonna use it. Oh god, remember the bizarre has nightmare fuel. People. Like this fucker. Look at this. What the hell is this guy? What's this? What is that? My eyes behold. Oh, a young man. What cow? Uh, calamitous visions appear before me. You may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous, thorny road ahead of, ahead for you. I can foresee what will befall you. I am a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes. Listen to my pure, innocent voice. I will do you no harm. Gaze deeply into my eyes and come closer. That sounds creepy as fuck. I'm not going anywhere near you. Get out of here. <laughs> oh my god, what is wrong with this guy? Hello there, friend. Okay, the fine products you can find anywhere. 
basic point for your senses to savor the wonderful treasures I have prepared just for you, friend. If any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Not, no, I don't want creepy as fuck, Mark. Ah, yes, yes. Allow me to explain. All you do is stand in front of any of my wares and press A to examine its beauty. Take your time and stop being your heart's delight. It's always free to look, my friend. And there's no pressure to buy. No pressure at all. That guy looks creepy as fuck. Ah, oh, that's a wood shield. He uses the block and repel attacks. Be careful, though, as it will break if it takes too much to pierce. Oh, so this word. Breath of Wild God's breakable equipment bullshit. You don't blame me. Don't burn quite easily. It's a fortunate property avoid. Sir. Alright, if these wood if these shields are gonna fucking break, I'm I'm not gonna keep bothering with them. Unless I find them. Look, we have placing the item in your pouch. In the pouch, press and hold R. You want to equip and release with R. All there is to it. For example, to equip that like a shield, it's simple as slipping it in your pouch. What the fuck? Alright. Sword? No? Okay, I guess we're just gonna wing it on how to use the sword. Oh, the Green Knight, thank you for the follow. How are you doing? My humble little side of business here. Uh, if you use the post in my wife sells, a new ingredient to increase their power. It's nothing really, just something I like to do. Do you have any posts you would like me to infuse? Nope. <laughs> yeah, Green Knight, this is my first time with Skyward Sword. We're about to like jump into the surface. We're just yeah. checking out the bazaar really quick. I'm with the golden hair. Have you played Skyward Sword before? Most of your things have felt your heart. Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? One in training, at least. I tell you. Look, you and I can tell you don't need my potions. By the cauldron full. Try to sleep away without stocking up. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. I forgot to ask if you have an empty bottle on you. So you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it into. When it first came out on the Wii 11, you. Oh wow. Did you like it? How much did you like it compared to uh, Elder Zelda's? For some reason, I like you, though. So I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. Oh, it's nothing. It's my little gift. You remember playing back in 2011? A lot of people get- Yeah, I hear that a lot, Green Knight. Like, they like the story, but they hate the most controls. I appreciate that, Don. Yeah, first playthrough of most controls. Yay, I got a bottle. Mm. They're not the best. So far, they're not horrible. Except for flying. Flying kind of sucks. Well, in your adventure pal. It's hard to take a look. You get to the point where you can't fit more stuff in your pouch because it's full. You can always drop items off at the mm. item check. What would you like to buy? Not a damn thing. <laughs> Thank you for the free bottle, though. You blame the flying bird. I blame the controls. I'm not gonna blame my. I'm not gonna blame my red hoe. Wait, no. I want the shield back. Damn it. All right. Now, how do I shield? This guy's with their hat spin. Most time working on true. So rule stuff's pretty good, that's good. Alright. Oh! Okay, I actually have to motion- okay. Okay, I have to actually use it like a shield. Alright, cool.
All right, I'm gonna guess we go to the giant green sky beam. I'm gonna take a wild guess to say that's our next destination. Go, Link. Link, you're supposed to call your bird, you asshole. <laughs> I have to get a switch. We're going to make old school side of control for this game. Where it doesn't rely on motion controls. Oh, Mark, you on the switch, you can actually play this without motion controls. They, they have that option. You heard about that. Alright, anyway. Alright. The hell's happening? Hold on. Oh yeah, God. They probably had to make it like kinda similar. How's that guy always catch me? He's a good knight, take care of. You gonna buy this game next month? Go for it. So the, the sword is mapped to the R stick. Oh, really, Green? So you can't move the camera at all? I can see that being annoying. Let me wind to play Skyward Sword again. Yeah, do it. Hey, we're in the surface. Master, please make sure to use your sailcloth when descending from high elevations. Falling to, failing to do so has a high probability of resulting in injury. Thank you for telling me that after I landed with the sailcloth. Fine, you're doing great. I need to find the sailcloth for you this time. From the no, you didn't. I did it. What the hell are you talking about? Call it Lincoln, idiot. Mock, I'm not kidding when I say me and Lincoln have a very hostile relationship. Old surface land, long been part of the Skyloft legend. In my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Seal Grounds. <laughs> it triggers a bumper to send the camera behind you. There's also a pretty weird to say we mote and not Oh, I see green. Yeah, I guess that's true if it is authentic. But it's still kind of annoying. Especially when you're like, you're in an HD remaster. Oh, I guess that safe statue just doesn't work because. That safe statue. Too oh, shit! Okay, I wasn't paying attention. Get him. No, like. Why are you doing side to side? What the fuck are you doing? There you go. Oh, really? Yeah. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's a complaint about this game is the motion controls. So far, they're not horrible, except for flying. <laughs> oh look, Akira's best friend is coming out. Yeah, let's fuck him up. Like here, there's no way in hell that has a guard chop. Like, 
It looks nothing like a Garchomp. Except that it has a mouth. You know how many animals have spike teeth, Akira? That's not good enough. Eighty, a lot more than eighty. I'll tell you that much. Six hundred. I wouldn't doubt if there's more than that. I guess I should someone buy here. Bye. Master, I have information to report. The doors appear to have been opened recently. They are now sealed shut by a powerful unidentified force. Thanks, Vi! That was really fucking helpful. So this this is where Navi got her uh her skills at giving tips. Can I catch this thing? Yeah, you know what, Akira? Let's just go with that. Atlanta Fi? Why? Is, what do you mean, Atlanta? Got <laughs> You know what? Let's just jump down and see what happens. What could possibly go wrong, right? This doesn't look ominous at all. Filed of destiny. Descended from the sky. Fuck it, land. <laughs> is it land the first word? Um, because Akira at least is supposed to be two words, not one. Raise the sword of the goddess. Skyward. Take aim at the evil aura. It unleashes power. I feel like it's a terrible idea, but we're gonna. Right, I guess we'll do it. I guess we have to do it. Master King, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. Okay, I, I thought we were gonna we were getting tricked into breaking that thing. I've also detected an aura that correlates closely with to your sailcloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. It can lead you in the direction of this aura. Through a process known as dousing. Dousing, guys! I'd like to explain this process to you? Please! I would love to know about dousing. To wish, master. Dousing is when I detect the presence of an aura of something you wish to search for. Using the tip of the sword. We are you about to find out, Akira. The nearer you are to an object emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. This response manifests itself through vibration and sound. The direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by a purple pointer. By the purple pointer you see. Hold up and select Zelda as your dousing target. Then point in the direction you wish to search. Wait. Let me set this thing first. Okay. Alright, look. Look here. Are we dousing? So this is dousing. We whip out the sword and search just like this. Easy, right? Except the fucking thing isn't centered again. <laughs> no. Why does this thing keep on centering? Damn it.
Oh, oh. Alright, we got Zelda over there. According to my dowsing, it's right here. Hey, look, the seal's gone. For reasons. You thought I'd been sleeping? No. No, Akira. Have a nice sit. Good talk. <laughs> ah, the traveler descended in the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what is your name? Cain? Ah, Cain. Good. Very good. Since you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword and pointed skyward, the skyward strike is yours to command. <laughs> Is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive. Also that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you see arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it. The gears of fate have begun to turn. <laughs> Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Mm -hmm. Kane, you are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek your whereabouts, yes? That is understandable. But for now, you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. She set out for Farron Woods to discover that destiny for herself. And you must follow. Show me your map. The X upon your map marks the path that will lead you to Farron Woods. You'll be traveling an unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here. The map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, map, a column of light will stand at that point, at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the X and press A to place the beacon. Okay, you need to stop not centering like that. Close enough. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, come on! Do a couple of things. Okay, Mark, well, I appreciate the alert. Thank you again for the raid. Damn it. <sighs> now, you cannot see it from where we are. A beacon stands outside to guide you. 
Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. We you no longer have use for a beacon. You can remove it from your map by pressing A. Use your beacons well, and you will never fear getting lost. Why are you slipping down? Go now. You must head into Farron Woods. A chase after the spirit maiden. The one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there shall prove useful for you on your journey. What? Get ready. Leave through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. <sighs> know that all the questions you have will now will be answered in time. For now, Kane, go bravely. Yes, rehydrated with water. Perfect. Alright, so where is this where are these treasures in this room we speak of? I see no treasures. Oh fairy. Wait, I can use that. Fuck, how do I use a fairy? <laughs> Alright, how do I use a bottle? Damn it. No, don't kill the fairy. Um, um. Oh. There we go. There we go. Nailed it. A net works too. I don't have a net yet. So far, so far that's all I got. Okay. Akira, I didn't know what the controls were. <laughs> I didn't know what the the <laughs> bottle button was. Okay, she said take the treasures in this room, but there's not a single treasure here. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Take the treasures. What is that? That's a big old looking crystal. You almost killed that instant fairy. I mean, while well, I captured her. That's a revitalizing potion. This potion fully cleanses your sealed gauge. And restores four hearts. Yay! Cool. Okay, I guess that was the treasure. That, that is slightly useful. If I remember to actually use it. Because you don't start with three hearts. Wait, how many do I- Oh wait, I, I don't start with two right here. I didn't even think about that. What, do I have like five hearts? Oh shit, I have six hearts. Huh? <laughs> Alright, this, this link is ready to go. He's not like the other shitty links that, that don't know what they're doing. I'm hacking. the way scram no don't put the sword away that's a lot of hearts right i don't know why but it feels like i'm bitch slapping them with the sword <laughs> it doesn't feel like i'm slashing them. it feels like i'm just bitch slapping them <laughs> Thanks for jumping in there and rescuing me, bud. Ooh. So were those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. Oh, you're big for taking care of those guys. Let me tell you something fascinating. Hey! Hey, bud. I'm Gorko the Gora. I'm researching the ancient history of the woods here. According to the ancient texts, there is some kind of place up above called the Isle of the Goddess. 
far up in the sky. Apparently, these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky or down from the Isle of the Goddess's place. Cards are huge. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this statue is special. So it's said to have the ability to activate all other mm. statues. Something sounds a little crazy, I know. But I, for one, believe it to be true. Look, why would all the statues be here all over the place? Real head scratcher, but. Makes you want to know more, does it not? Sure, why not? Oh! Ah, sounds like I have a fellow connoisseur of ancient cultures here. Alright, bud. You better brace yourself, because I'm about to blow your mind. So get this. People actually live on this sky island. They get around by by flying on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than birds here. Up there, everyone reveres the goddess. The residents of all the islands in the sky live in the perfect society. Totally free of conflict or ha unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. It's not even stopped there, bud. It's how the goddess has even more stuff to marvel at. This is craveled, crafted by the goddess herself. The figures are filled with wonders we do not have here. The buildings are all made of gold, and other spring of mystical water that feeds a river through the place. One sip of that stuff, and you live forever! <laughs> it's not quite that great. The trees are heavy with plump fruit, fruit that cures all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic wildflowers bloom everywhere. The weather, oh the weather bud. Not too hot, not too cold. No chance of sweaty heat in this garden paradise. That is the Isle mm -hmm. of the Goddess. Amazing, right? Wrong, mm -hmm. it's beyond amazing. You hear more about it, don't you, bud? No. We're good. Ooh. Now that's so, bud. I was hoping to tell you more. But I guess you could wait. I just want the statue. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa! Mm. The world just happened. Did you sent some kind of magic? Ooh. The statue reacted the moment you got near it, bud. How crazy is that? Okay, so this one can take me to the sky, too. Mm -hmm. Goro! Oh. What was that? It just reacted to you. What did you do? Come on. Let's not make a, a big guy beg. I have to got... I've got to know. Uh, bye guy. I know, right, Akira? Oh. Oh, poor little thing had a ghost. Okay, I, I just like literally murdered that bug. For no reason. <laughs> what the fuck? What was that? Master, now that you have access to the stone statue, you can return to the sky at will. Furthermore, by using a certain amiibo figure, you can return to the sky from anywhere on the surface. And come back to where you left. Oh, good thing I have an amiibo figure. The exact one I need. It's called anytime you would like to use an amiibo. You can also enable or disable amiibo usage from the options. Good thing I have amiibos. Thank God, I'll so dramatic, Link. So I can get rid of this now. We good. Master, you have entered Darren Woods. Plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora, including this massive tree. It is logical that the lush plant life and water resources have attracted animal species to the region. 
Oh, fancy. So there's three major regions in this game, I guess, according to that map. Okay, cool. Looking at the probabilities, it's extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in the area. Wow, that was great deduction, Fi. Recommend you continue using your dousing ability search for her. Oh, we get to douse again. I'm starting to feel like the heart, you don't get hearts from grass in this game. What's this thing on my leg? Get off. Like little firecrackers? I swear to god, it feels like I'm bitch slapping them. <laughs> Look at this fella. Huh? It's gone quiet. This is so smart to bark. Yeah, you have to like attack in a certain direction, I think. Quiku, now that's a green one. I didn't even know they came in green. Don't hurt me. Is that a penguin? I mean, we can call it a penguin. It looks kind of similar to one. It looks more like a penguin than that thing looks like a Garchomp. I'll tell you that much. Actually, is that... It has a thing on his back like a Bulbasaur, too. It's like a penguin infused with Bulbasaur. Here, do you want one of those as a pet? <laughs> Pedal sore? Wait, what am I targeting? <laughs> what about a, a bulb Gwen? Hey, little fella. I'm not gonna murder you. I swear. Wait, where'd you go? Shit. an exceptionally strong downstream response in this area. You should continue searching the vicinity. Wait! God damn it, Fi. I'm looking for my little buddy. There he is. Akira's name is Machi. 
It spotted me again. Quee. You don't want to eat me? Quee. Come to think of it, why did you fight off all those red monsters? Keep a leap. I'm a machi. I'm a kikwi. You seem okay, even though you're scary. Thanks for helping me. We're calling him Bolpin. Akira, the, the, the species is called a kikwi. That's weird, Kiku. A while ago, I ran into another funny animal like you. This one was a girl. What to Zelda? I don't know who this girl was, Kukui. But she was in a bunch of trouble when I saw her. It's a Machina? <laughs> well, this definitely ain't Machina. A pack of those mean red guys were, were after her, Kukui. But she escaped with the Kikui Elder. Master, we have obtained new information on Zelda's current status. The information indicates that she was assailed by monsters, but somehow evaded capture. However, I infer she is still in significant danger. I have marked the position of the Kikui known as Machi. Please confirm your current location. Get the fuck out, Fi! Fi, you're scaring you're scaring our little buddy here. Furthermore, my analysis suggests that this Kikui most likely produces a false positive dousing reaction due to previous direct contact with Zelda. Using this hypothesis, I theorize there is an 85% chance that the Kikui Elder will also generate a dowsing reaction for the same reason. I propose you continue dowsing to search for Zelda. Wait, isn't like what you just said though is the dowsing going to take me to the wrong place? You really spooked me, Kui. You keep finding some very strange company, friend. Keep a leap. Sounds like you're wrong. You're set on finding this friend and the elder. It ain't that way anyway, Kui. Do you mind telling our elder I'm safe here? Cheer up, Kobe. But your friend is safe with our elder. She has no most. Oh, Fi? I don't think Fi does, actually. She's just like. Ooh, an Ember Relic. She's kind of like a. Um... I don't know what to. I don't want to say a robot. She's not a robot, but it's like something to that effect. Okay. No. First of all. First of all. There we go. Okay. We're gonna go. We're gonna run up that hill. Fuck you. Okay, you know what? You can have. Okay, never mind. Oh, wait, here we go. Here you go, friend. You could have this rock. God damn it, Link. <laughs> anyway, you could have this rock. Perfect. So it's that direction. Fuck. Okay, so that way seems to be the right way. Let's make our way that way. Got an ornamental, yeah, ornamental skull. Hell yeah.
Okay, that doesn't work very well in this game, apparently. Oh, I have to parry it? Fuck. Alright, so not that way. We're going... Going that way. Climb up. Can I climb up? Okay. There we go. I'm gonna say this is the elder. I am Pucha. The Kikri Elder. I saw the way you spotted me through my ingenious camouflage, Squee. You're clearly a master sword, a master woodsman. Cute. Zelda? Ah, oh, the girl creature with the blonde hair. She looked like one of your kind. Yes, she was with me, Queen. Oh, wow, 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 wow. What the fuck is that noise? Now's not the time for such talk. The woods are full of monsters. I am worried she, about my missing tribe. Kui, the shock and worry has made my memories of the girl quite hazy. Choo! What? You say you met some of my people, Kui? Hmm. Hmm. Kui, so Amachi is safe, eh? Ah, but the monsters. You're still lurking in the forest. I don't dare leave this spot. Kyu, kyu. Three Kikuis are still unaccounted for. Could I ask you to search for them and make sure they're safe, Kui? Or you're sick for my fellow Kikuis. If you could calm my fears, I might be able to remember more about where the, where the girl you went off to. Knowing that Zelda is no longer with the Kikui Elder is an unfortunate setback. We may still be still have useful information. Taking this into account, I calculate an 85% probability. That your quest will be aided if you find the lost Kikuis for your elders. To expedite your search for these forest dwelling creatures, I have added Kikuis as a dousing option. Wow, thanks, Fi! Now we get to do some more dousing! Never! I switch dousing targets. I, I think I got it. I will mark any Kikuis you discover on the map and disable dousing menus for them. That way you will not revisit the same Kikuis. <laughs> God, you hate fight! <laughs> this concludes my explanation. When ready, please begin your search for the missing Kikuis. Whoops. No, stop. Okay, I don't want to zoom in on this elder's ass. Alright, let's find a safe point. I think it's a good place to stop for the night. Oh good, safe point right here. So we get to douse some more tomorrow for some kikwis. Alright. 